Hello everyone, welcome back to the Tarot Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Red Dead Redemption 2 is having crashing, not launching, lags and uh, it's freezing, stuttering, FPS drop, stuck on loading screen, black screen issue and all these kind of issues including bone launch issue which is happening for many of the users. So we're going to talk about some of the possible workaround which you have to try out which is going to work for sure. So let me directly get into this. So the first one is all about you have to restart your PC when you're having the trouble. So close everything, close your Steam, restart your PC, then try by going back to the Steam once again and try to play. And it might work. This is actually a very simple fix. And this is not a 100% guaranteed one, but this has worked in the unexpected cases for some of the users. Going to the next one is all about you have to allow the game.exe file to the Windows security. For that you just have to go over here and you have to search for control panel. Now from here you just have to go to Windows Defender Firewall. Over here you have to click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here you have to check whether the Red Dead Redemption 2 is available here. So if it is available keep it the same and make sure these things are checked. That means private and public should be checked. If it's not there we have to add it. So how to add it it's all about the answer here. Click on allow and another app. Now go to browse. Now from here you just have to go to this PC. Open locally C where the game is installed. Navigate to program file x86. Scroll down and navigate to steam. Select Steam Apps. From here, go to Common. Now select Red Dead Redemption 2. And from here, as you can see, RD2 is RDR2 is there. Just add this. If it is already added, you can see it's not added. So we just have to add it. Red Dead Redemption 2. Now I have to check this both. It should be both private and public. Once it is checked, you just have to close everything. Go back to the Steam. Try to play the game. If it's not working, move to the next one. That is all about you have to install graphics card manually. So I'll be providing link in the description to both official NVIDIA as well as for the AMD users. As you can see on the NVIDIA, you just have to go over here, give the product type. You will be having various options, select the respective one. Give the respective product series model type you have to give and give the product give your operating system if it is windows 11 go for windows 11 or if windows 10 go for it and if any other then you can go for the rest give everything and start for search and you will be getting the latest updated patch over here so if you scroll down the latest version is 527.56 and it is updated on or released on 8th december so just download the respective one and install the .exe Simultaneously, you have to do the same for the AMD users as you can see for the graphics. Select the respectively same thing you have to do. Select everything and go for submit. You will be getting two options for Windows 11 as well as for Windows 10. So Windows 11, select the respective one, download and install the Adrenaline version for Windows 10. Do the respective one. And once after successfully install, try to launch the game and most probably updating to the latest version of graphics card has fixed all these kind of issues. So try with this and this might be working as well. Moving to the next one is all about you have to run the game on dedicated. Uh, you just have to do is run the game as an administrator, the first one. So go over here in the game. You can navigate in two way going to file explorer as well as for the steam. So it is very easy to navigate from the steam. So I'll be showing you this. Select the game properties. Now from here go to local file. Click on browse option that will directly take you to where the game is installed. And now from here as you can see the rdr2 file is there. Select the respective one. Right click and go to show more options and go to properties. Go to compatibility. And over here as you can see run this program as an administrator is there. Just select this. Go for apply and go for ok. After running the game as administrator set, check whether it's going to fix. If it's not, launch the game. You should not be launching the game from over here. You should not be launching the game. But launch the game from the installation folder. Which means you have to navigate to this particular path as you can see. Right? So you can launch it from here itself and see. And most probably launching the game from the installation folder has worked for many users. And if you don't know the path for the game, I'll be showing you that. You just have to go to the file explorer, go to this PC. Go to local disk C and from here go to program file x86. Now from here you just have to scroll down and navigate to steam folder. Now select steam apps from here and go to common. 
select red dead redemption 2 and from here you just have to scroll down and select this one and launch the game from here itself so installation launch the game from installation folder has worked so do not forget this step moving to the next one is all about you have to uh, run the game on dedicated graphics card for that you just have to go over here search for graphics settings now from here you will be able to see as you can see these are the available things which is i have already added so click on the browse option now from here go to local disk c once again go to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam once again select steam apps from here go to common select red dead redemption 2 and from here select rdr2 go for add once it is successfully added as you can see you have to click on this option so that this will be by default into let windows decide you have to change this to high performance once it is saved just close everything go back to the steam try to launch the game and that might be working as well even if it's not you don't have to worry we have to move to the next one that is all about you have to install Microsoft Visual C++ so I'll be providing over here as you can see we are having two options x86 as well as x64 so it is quite important that many has been many people commented and asked how to know this so you just have to you can check from your end you just have to go to settings over here on the system scroll down to the bottom and go to about over here you will be able to find whether you are on 64 bit operating system or you are on 32 bit operating system or as well as 86 it is very vital visible that I am on x64 that is on 64 bit so you have to download this here I have already downloaded and installed it so I am not doing the same you can download this and install it on it after installing restart your PC then or go to the steam and launch the game should not be launching the game without restarting because this is a mandatory one and should not neglect this you just have to do a restart go to the game and I mean steam and launch the game and that might be working as well Moving to the next one is all about you have to stop all overclocking applications. So as you can see, the Discord is one of the main reason why it is happening for many of the users as well as many other. We will be showing you how this, how important this tip is all about. Just go to your start and go to task manager. Right now, as you can see, there are a few things which is running in my background, which apps are I'm using currently over here in the task manager. They are Adobe Premium Pro, Google Chrome, Screen Recorder, Steam and task manager apart from this there are background process apps which is around 74 which is running out my background including discord and all these things so they are draining out my performance so i'm not having any kind of issue while i'm playing the game because the game is around 32 i'm sorry my ram is around 32 gb it's quite smooth but what you have to do is just have to end the task for everything you have to do the same it's going to take a little bit of time but this is actually going to work this so this is how you can stop every overclocking applications and also you have to disable steam overlay for that you just have to go over here you just have to right click and go to properties now from here over here as you can see under the general there should be enable the steam overlay should be there so you just have to uncheck this this is quite important step as well and that's going to work you guys and also moving to the next one is all about you have to perform a clean boot so that's going to do from here itself you just have to search for system configuration you just have to select this one now from here you have to navigate to services and over here as you can see click on hide all microsoft services go for disable all once you're done with disable all go for apply and go for ok and once it is done try to launch the game from the steam and that has worked for many of the users moving to the next one is all about you have to verify integrity of game file for that just go over here right click and go to properties go to local files and click on verify integrity of game file so this is going to take a little bit of time but this is actually going to work because this will fix if any files are corrupted and if any files are missed and all these kind of issues will be completely fixed from this and so should not be neglecting this is very important and also parallelly let this complete i'll move to the next one that is all about update your windows to the latest version for that just go to the search and type for settings over here go to system now from here sorry go to windows update on the left and check whether you are able to get any update just update it and if it's update is not working and you're having a trouble i'll be providing a link in the description where you can watch another video what you have to do you can update your windows if you have 
these kind of issues with Windows 11 installation assistant which I'll be providing there. So you can refer the video and you will be able to fix the issue. Update your Windows to the latest version is quite important as well. Moving to the next one is all about you have to disconnect multiple monitors as well as if you're connected with controllers and all those things to play the game. Eject everything when you're trying to launch the game. So eject everything and USB port should be completely free. After ejecting everything, launch the game. Once the game is successfully launched, connect it back and try to play with the controllers. Last and the least one is uninstall and reinstall. By reinstalling back, you have to keep in mind, you should not be installing back to the same disk. As you can see, in my case, I'm having only one disk. But in a case, it will be different. So if you're having multiple disks and the game is installed on local disk, uh, local disk C for the first time, when you're trying to reinstall it back, try with the D, E, F, etc. or any other alternative disk, you should not be installing back on the same. And these are the possible workarounds which you have to try out when you're having Red Dead Redemption 2 is having crashing, not launching, won't load, freezing, stuttering, low FPS drop stuck on loading screen black screen and all these kind of issue and how you can fix this up also i'll be providing our uh, article links where you can refer our article on the website get troy tips and also you can refer our parallel website the gaming book for more details and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye 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 bye